Georgetown is having an outstanding season, don't you think, Dick? Hey, no doubt about it, Mr. Nestle. But there's still games left to be played. But at this point, at this pace, they're on track to grab a top seed in the tournament. What's the starting five look like, you might ask? Well, whether it's a big game or a small game, your starting five has got to be ready to go, Dick. Keep your eyes on these two small forwards, Brad. They're both very talented, and you can expect to see them go at each other all game long. EA, Aaron Andrews, standing by with an update regarding the rivalry. Aaron? Thanks, Brad. Well, the rivalry definitely continues, and it may be bigger today than ever before. This bitter rivalry between these two extends back a number of years, but no game means more than the one they are about to play right now. Brad? Aaron Andrews, our sideline correspondent. All of you know that with an additional insight there. And now setting up here in their Princeton offense. I'll tell you, Brad, that Princeton offense utilizes the high post exceptionally well. You cut off that high post, you get great motion, you make sure you have movement. The key to any offense is movement without the basketball. If you got movement without the basketball, you're going to get good shots. Both teams are looking to get something going here. The Red Storms will be stepping on the court today with energy and focus, something I don't think they had in their last out. I tell you, Brad, after a loss, you want to come back in the next game and get back to do what you did that got you on that winning streak. This is the type of guy that can throw the whole kitchen sink at you if you're not careful. Hey, Brad, he's got a really good all-around game. Can step out to about 15 feet and knock it down and score with his back toward the basket. Out on the left wing, in the lane, can't connect. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA, Aaron Andrews, checking in from the sideline. They look to get it to the inside. Takes the jumper off the mark. The Hoyas have been making some strides and are really improving. And I'm sure as a coach, Dick, you always like it when your team's playing great basketball. Hey, they've been playing well these past few weeks. Steady improvement is all a coach can really ask for. On the dribble, gives it up. Goes up with it. He misses the jumper. alley -oop. Lobs it. Goes up for two. He nails the bucket. Stolen ball. Here they come on the break. Dumps it in for the bucket. He gets it to fall. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. court and has it rejected defense did a great job with that block shot up and inside now the turnaround jumper they are red hot right now they're feeling it from everybody on the floor Brad they're getting it from every spot on the court Nice pass to the low block. Missed the jumper. Throws it up. Tries for two. He missed. The shooting guard handles the pass. The Red Storm's running their zone offense here, Dick. Well, the key to zone motion offense is you got to get good ball movement. If you get good ball movement to get the zone to really slide and use the skip pass to make it tough for that zone to adjust. Ball's going to stay down here. 
The offense begins off the sideline inbounds. Shooter spotting up on a three. Is bad. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. For two, that's good. Looks like they're using a 2-3 zone to force the offense to work from the outside. The ball stripped. The Hoyas looking to attack now in transition. And a momentary look from three-point land. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Goes up for two. That's a good-looking bucket out of the transition, Brad. On the wing. He shoots from outside. Scores it. A great drive to the hoop right there, Dick. Well, those aggressive moves to the basket are what this offense is all about. And now getting set up here in a four-round one. I tell you, the four-round one, spacing's a key. You better have good spacing, and you better have people on the interior that can score with their back to the basket. If you got a big guy who can post up inside and who has passing ability, he's going to create opportunities for the guys on the perimeter. The Red Storms move into their zone motion offense. Well, the key in the zone motion offense is you got to get good ball movement. If you get good ball movement to get the zone to really slide and use the skip pass to make it tough for that zone to adjust. The shooting guard gets the ball. Seven minutes left on the game clock. On the left side. Number 10 fakes the shot. There's a slam. Now they work it around the perimeter. Dick, I think they're going to fall back into a 1-3-1 zone defense here. Rejected. Pump fakes. alley -oop. The shooting guard receives the pass. Both teams looking to get things going here. The defense shows a 1-3-1 zone. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Nope. For the bucket. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. Looks like they're going to drop into a 1-3-1 zone defense here. Gave it up. There's a high percentage shot. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. Lobs it. And the ball's out of bounds. We'll go back the other way. It's been a great team effort for these guys tonight, Dick. I'll tell you what, they get an A for effort in my book so far, Brad. Sometimes that's the hardest thing to get from your team as a coach. When you have everyone on your team working together and playing hard, great things work out. The Red Storms have been great in this first half, really taking it to their rivals. Since we're still in the first half, there's no real reason to panic. When down in this type of situation, you must realize that you're not going to get it all back at once. Taking good shots and working hard on defense is a way to get back into the game. This is what he's been able to bring to the court per game so far this season. Stats only tell part of the story, Brad. But as a coach, if you have a few players who can average double figures in multiple statistical categories, you're a lucky guy. Misses his second shot. They work the perimeter. From three-point land. Off the mark. About five minutes remaining in the game clock. 
Looks like they're going to drop into a 1-3-1 zone defense here. They work it around the perimeter. Ten to shoot now. He seems determined to take the tough shot. But they're not falling, and the offense is being totally taken out of shape. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Tries for two. That was nice. Looks like the defender's a little bit tired out there. This is no time to be tired. Get a sub if you need a break. Looks like they're setting up into their zone motion. We're at the four-minute mark. Number one receives the pass. For two, buried it. There's the tempo for the game thus far. Two teams are picking and choosing when they want to push the ball, Brad. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Unloads. And come up short. Number four takes the pass. Throws it up. Goes up for two. Goes in. Looking for a good shot. And it's knocked away. Great block. Nice rotation over blocking that shot. I love it when teams help one another. It's not a one-man game defensively. you got to help your teammate out. you got to rotate over. About three minutes remaining. Time to pick up the defense here now. For the bucket, he shows the sweet touch. The crowd starting to chant. Who says there's no such thing as a home court advantage? They worked that alley-oop beautifully, Brad. Zone defense right now. Got to move with each pass. Sometimes a skip pass, very effective against the zone. Oh, what a strip, Brad. The Hoyas with the push. I tell you, nothing like having those legs, man, where you bounce right off the floor. About two minutes remaining on the game clock. Zone defense right now. On the left side. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Missed it. The shooting guard with the ball. Goes up with a shot. Jumper won't go. Number one grabs it. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries for two. Off the mark. They get out on the break. For two. A good fast break always results in a bucket, Brad. Looking for a good shot. He tries the jumper. They get it to go. We're at the one-minute mark. The shooting guard gets the ball. Goes up for two. Scorches the net. Jumper nails the jumper. It looks as though they have a shooter spotting up. Let's see if they can shoot him out of that zone. Moving it around the perimeter. Zone motion now on the outside. From the corner. Jumper didn't look blocked. Number four takes the feed from downtown. 
Scorches the net with a J. Attempts the Hail Mary. They can't find the range right now behind the arc. They should start looking elsewhere. Maybe try and get an easy one inside. At the half, the Hoyas are up by 15. Georgetown was on fire in that first half shooting from the field, partner. I'll tell you, fire's not the word, man. They were blistering, just burning it up. We'll see if they can keep it up in the second half. We've got two rivals here. Let's go to our sideline reporter, Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad, this game has been full of emotion, and for now, the second half is about channeling that energy so that the performance isn't compromised. The first half is in the book, so watch for execution and team play to really step up. Thanks, EA, our third member of our team, and our sideline reporter, keeping us up to date with what's taking place behind the scenes and around the bench. Good job, EA. Number one, picks up the foul. First personal foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. And one too many dribbles and a steal. For the bucket. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. Lobs it. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. The Red Storm will be looking to send more guys to the offensive glass. As Dick mentioned earlier, this strategy falls into their team style and should help them win this game. They did a poor job of this in the first half, guys. Look for them to do a better job on the offensive glass in the second half. If not, they'll have a tough time getting the victory. Guys? All right, thanks, Aaron. On the inside. Gliding in for the jam. Sliding and gliding. Nobody rotated over. The defense moves so slowly. Looks like they're trying to switch things up by showing a 1-3-1 zone. On the left side. There's the trap. Barry's at home. Hey, Brad, it's embarrassing to get scored on like that. Now trying to feed the low block. They're looking to throw off the offense with a 1-3-1 zone. Cross court. He puts up the J. Gets the J to fall. They'll work it around the arc. There's the fake. Goes up. They got it. A nice job of getting to the hole right there, Dick. That's a great take, Brad. That puts pressure on the defense when you go to the hoop like that. Turnaround jumper. Look at that spacing. They move it into the front court. Number 10 is charged with the foul. Second team foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, it's a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. They work it around the perimeter. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Looks like you're going to drop into a 1-3-1 zone defense here. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Can't connect. Tries for two. Off the glass and no good. 
Two three zone. Got to get in that wing. Got to get in that gap. Number 30 is called. That layup will count for two plus the harm. Hey, he sized the defender up and protected the ball going in for the layup. Boy, was that beautiful. I tell you, what an opportunity he's got right here. Because to me, this is a gift. The Hoyas now looking to run their stuff against this zone. Well, the key in the zone motion offense is you got to get good ball movement. If you get good ball movement to get the zone to really slide and use the skip pass to make it tough for that zone to adjust. Looks like they're trying to plug up the middle with a 2-3 zone. On the left side. Takes the jumper. Nope. Strong rebound. Good rebound position. Men have got to get out and fill the lanes, Brad. He pulls up with a jumper and come up short. They get into a 2-3 zone, Dick. Why? They want to save some energy for offense, if you ask me. Outside jumper. Bust the jumper. He can't let this guy have the uncontested shot. He just got to dig in and play some D. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. We're at the seven-minute mark. Ten to shoot. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. Off the mark. Now let's take a look here at the tempos for both these teams tonight. Well, it looks like both of them are going to be battling to see who can control the tempo and put pressure on the opponent. Let's it fly. The friendly bouncers aren't going their way at the moment, Dick. They need to get some easier looks, Brad. Working it around the perimeter. And now the fadeaway jumper. I tell you, you've got to be exceptional to make that shot. Because a lot of coaches don't like it because you're going away. You're not in rebound position. You better make it count. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. For two, drains it. How about the great job of getting to the basket right there, Dick? I tell you, he was fearless right there. Did a great job taking it to the rack. And some great concentration to finish strong. Stolen. Gave it up. Up for two. Perfectly executed. We're at the five minute mark. Up and inside. Rivalries the theme. Let's go courtside to EA, Aaron Andrews. Well, we expected a lot more than this, Aaron Andrews, and this ball game really has not lived up to the potential when you have rivals like these two. Guys, during halftime, both coaches were expecting this matchup to be a lot closer, but it seems as if frustration and fatigue have settled in. Thanks, Aaron. I don't think these two rivals are really going to go out to dinner together after the game, Dick, do you? Not tonight, Brad. Both teams know that they aren't here to make any new friends. They are here to compete, and that's what I expect to see for 40 minutes. These are two rivals that came for one thing, and that is to win. Anything less than that just wouldn't be good enough. He doesn't miss that opportunity either. The Hoyas are going to have to transition into playing strictly a half-court style now. It'll be interesting to see if they make this change, Brad. At this point, I think it'll be most beneficial for them to concentrate on playing offense in the half-court 
and most importantly, keep the clock running. Number one with the ball. Jumper won't go. The Red Storms are a balanced team, playing both up-tempo and half-court style, Dick. They feel they are more successful when they focus their attention on doing a bit of both, Brad. They have the personnel to be able to play up-tempo at one end and play in the half-court at the other. About four minutes remaining on the game clock. They've got a three-point shooter spotting up. Nails the sweet jumper. And a momentary look from three-point land. For the bucket, basket's good. That's goaltending. It's a team effort across the board so far today, Dick. I tell you, it can really cause the defense fits and throw you off on offense when a team can play strong across all five positions on the floor. Number four is whistled for the foul. Let's take another look at our star watch. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Looks like you're going to drop into a 1-3-1 zone defense here. On the dribble, gives it up, goes up with it. The missed shot. Tries for two. Comes up short. Sinks it. About three minutes remaining. Now they work it around the perimeter. Puts up the J. Trumper didn't look pretty, I can tell you that. That baby was ugly. Looks like they're going with a 1-3-1 zone. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. Pushing in transition. For two, they force the turnover, Dick. Great charge. Number 15 makes his first substitution. I'll tell you what I like about him, Brad. He brings all kinds of energy to the floor. Here's a double team. Off the glass. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Throws it up. They work the perimeter. Goes up for two. Rims out. For the bucket. He hits it. You always want your players going hard to the basket like that, right, Dick? He had one thing on his mind, and that was getting to the goal. Mission accomplished. The small forward handles the feed. He shoots from the deep corner. He's just not seeing the floor, Dick. He doesn't want to, Brad. He wants to score, and I'll tell you, that ain't good for team morale, baby. Dick, you were a math teacher. Mathematically, I think this one's over. That's all she wrote, Brad. This one is a done deal. Dick, can they eventually get it going from behind the arc, you think? If they stop forcing him, sure. For the bucket, gets it to fall. He shoots from the corner. No luck finding the basket the last few trips down court, Dick. What they need are some easy layups or a couple of nice putbacks. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. Off the inbound. We're at the one-minute mark. They work it around the perimeter. Tries for two. Got it. Number 12 takes the feed.
Let's get back out on the floor. Gave it up. From beyond the arc. There's a very tight lid on that rim for him right now, Dick. That's right, Brad. Nothing seems to be dropping. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. All these missed shots. I don't even think they're giving the ball a chance to go in, Dick. Confidence has got to be an issue now, Brad. They aren't shooting the ball with any confidence whatsoever. It's Brick City, USA. Looking for a good shot. Shot clock is dead. For two, he nails the shot. The Hoyas are out in front as we enter this timeout. Stick around for more NCAA action. They might try and surprise the opposition with a little change here, Dick. That might not be a bad idea. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Off the mark, goes for the deep one. You look ahead to the next time these two teams play, Dick, and you can't expect it to go like it did tonight. I think it'll be a lot better. I think you'll see them really react in a positive way after looking at the film, breaking it down, and finding out what they did wrong. 